In this video, we're going to show you how to put a value in the center of a donut chart in React Chart.js. So to add the text in the center, what we need to do is we need to create a custom plugin. So what we're going to say here is plugins equal and in curly braces bracket because it's an array. We could have more than one plugin and we'll call this our text center. Copy this. And then what we're going to do here, we're going to say here constant text center equals id text center although we won't be using that anyway and then we're going to say here before data sets draw and then in here we're going to say the chart argument the args argument and we have here the plugin options although the last two will not be necessary for us so once we did this we're going to create an object destruction if you don't understand object destruction please watch my video understanding charges uh, object destructuring. So we're going to say here, this equals the chart object. And then what we need here is, well, we can say here the CTX, and we could do here text, let's put in here the value itself. So I'm going to grab here the data, and I think that will be more than sufficient for us. All right, so now what we're going to do is, we're going to start putting in the data, I'm going to say ctx.save, to save the default setting, and then we're going to draw the text, or at least uh, create the text, so I'm going to say ctx.font equals, and then we're going to say here, it's a string value, let's make this 30 pixels, and I want to make it bold, or we can make it even bolder, and it's more thicker than the standard bold. So bolder, 30 pixels, font family will be sans serif, which is the default chart.js font family. Once we did this, I need to put in here the ctx.fill style to indicate the color. And in this case, the color could be red, for example. And then finally, what we're going to do here is the ctx.fill text to draw the specific text. So in this case, here we need to have some text. I'll just put in here a text as a string value. And later on, we can maybe get the exact value we have here. And then next, we have here the x and y coordinates. So those we'll use a special trick for this, which is chart.getDataSetMeta0, which is index zero, then we get the data, and the data will be index zero dot x. And what this truly does is gets the x coordinate in the center, and the same as well for the y coordinate. Since this is just a uh, donut chart, all these values, even if you have index, uh, for data index number one, they're all, identical because it calculates the exact center of this donut chart. So we're going to put in here also the Y. Let's save this, refresh, and as you can see, it is now being positioned. However, it is not really in the perfect center. So let's start to do this. So what I want to do here is uh, this here above, we're going to CTX that text align because it's aligned to the left side. So we're going to say yeah, text align center, save. All right, then, Maybe what we could do here, just to be sure, text base line, and this will be equal to middle, just to put it in the center, in the center, although there's no real difference. So now we have this, and I think we can just make this maybe uh, 50 pixels, save, refresh. All right, what I want to do in here, put in the value and extract the value of number three, which is basically the data value here, index zero. So how do we get this? Well, what we could do here, we have the data here already. So what I want to do here is for this, we're going to say your data. And if you're wondering where this data is referenced to, to this here, the data, data sets index zero and then data index zero. Data dot data sets index zero dot data index zero. There we are. And then what we could do here, maybe we can say here value and let's make this a concatenation. So I'm going to use your template literals and a backtick, backtick, and I'm going to say here, value, dollar sign, curly braces, and curly braces here to make this a variable, save this, and there we are, and that's it.